Yeah, and that, and that gives us a key input for kind of what's next. And, and we aren't only, we're, we're certainly designing our processes to deliver something to, uh, to the customer, but we have our own needs as well, uh, whether it's efficiency or, or uh, other stakeholders. So we, we still need a vision for what we want to redesign to, what we want to reimagine. And so the customer is a large part of imagining what we want. Right, what the outcome could be and should be. Um, I, I think what's important is that we don't too early introduce the idea when we're starting to go through a visioning process of what we can do, right? What can we get away with and what are the barriers and, and all of that. So I always, I always like the idea of ideas have to go through filters. And so if I have one filter that says, what do we want to do? And ideas are flowing through them. And I have another filter that says, what can we do? And ideas are flowing through them. But I try to do them at the same time. Very few ideas get through. Yeah. And, and, and so we really need to separate those two filters. And before we figure out what we can do, we have to look at a vision of what we want to do, what we want to achieve. Um, so so what, do you, what do you believe helps with a, a visioning process to help, help shape that vision beyond the customer input? Yeah, and I know we've we've talked about this before. I think there's other models, right? So if you if you look at um, yeah, from a public sector standpoint, I think I just mentioned I feel DMV has a good a big retail component because they have basically retail physical locations and they have customers that come in. If you start to say, if we look at other retail organizations, how do they operate? Forget the fact that our product is a government mandated license and a registration and a title. Like, let's just think about the retail operation and let's think about um, Amazon. Let's think about um, the mall. Let's think about other um, retail stores that we interact with and what things can we take from them? So I totally agree with you. I think there's I think I've called before like a blue sky type exercise where we say, let's think about other business models that are similar. And um, based on that, what things do we think we might want to consider? Yeah, and I think the, that thinking of similar things or even thinking of wildly different things to help inform that uh, can create some really creative ideas. Um, some people call these mashups where you, you know, say, well, what do I do to, if I put these two things together, what might it look like? And it inspires creativity and, and insight. So you start to ask, you know, what if, what if Chick-fil-A ran the DMV? What would that look like? Um, mm -hmm. What if Amazon ran the revenue agency? What would that look like? Right. Now, we're not asking them to do that, but it might lead to some really interesting ideas that say, boy, if we, if we did it in that way, we could, again, reimagine the delivery of that service in, in a very unique way. And that, you know, then we can figure out what we can do and back off from that ideal state. But you do really want to start with an ideal state, right? So if, if yeah. we asked banks 30 years ago what they wanted, they would have said shorter lines where, you know, we don't right. usually stand in lines at a bank anymore. Right. Uh, what if we right. can eliminate the line? Well, we couldn't 30 years ago. We can now. And so you, you really start with what you what you think that ideal is, what that perfection looks like. And then you can back off from there based on what's feasible, what's possible, and, and uh, what you, what, what's uh, needed in near term versus long term. Yeah, I think that's a basic tenet of visioning and strategic thinking is what is our big picture? What are our, what are our big, um, our big goals? Because if we start to your point with the constraints, we'll never get out of the gate. We need to start big, and then figure out what can we do based on that and pare it down. So yeah, I completely agree with you. And I think that's a, it's a good exercise. And I think it's interesting because it's not an exercise that a lot of folks spend a lot of time doing. Um, it, it, at least, it, you know, that I've seen in the public sector or even in the private sector because they're so busy doing what they do every day. So what we often find is that when we run you know, visioning exercise, we call them vision sessions, and they're typically tied to big technology modernizations. Um, we're taking um, all, the elite, all the leadership, all the executives, and the next level down, and some very key subject matter experts, and we're bringing them into a workshop for a couple days. And, um, 
you know, we always get the initial pushback. Well, I can't, I can't take a couple days to do this. I've got stuff to do. I've got deadlines and all this work to do. Um, but when we can get them in that environment and we facilitate the conversation, I think it takes some time. And I'm sure you've experienced this as well. It takes some time. But once you kind of break through that and the mind opens up a little bit and you facilitate having a conversation, it just feeds on itself. And before you know it, you come up with all these grand ideas and then you start to apply those filters to it. And ultimately you're gonna come up with a portfolio of things that you can achieve. And everybody is kind of, all the leadership has collaboratively agreed to it. <clears throat> and at least now we know what the portfolio it has to support. And we can always refer back to it and we understand where it came from, so. Yeah, and that's just so important to do. As you say, it, it's hard to find two days to spend on this, but if you don't, you're gonna spend a lot of resources designing to the wrong destination. And, yeah. and that's, nothing's more weight, you know, that, that costs you way more than two days. That costs you hundreds of days across your team, across your organization and yourself. You really didn't design towards the right outcome, towards the right vision. 